Give me my driver. My brain come down. Keep quiet. Rubbish and nonsense. <laughs> And it has us. Ah, oh, wow, we have a mic. to we ladies they will not want to change it because i asked for your number does not mean that i want to toast you it's just a number and to take it easy uncle i am not taking it easy you ask for my number i know that you want to toast me if you do uncle i'm not waiting for you to toast me first and i said eh, and i said yeah when i got married i moved to the island come on <laughs> if i upload this video i'm going to read my channel because this video, this video is the worst video i've ever filmed <laughs> one of my family members <laughs> how are you <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Oh my goodness, I always love seeing my family members. I just saw one at the tailgate and she's like, vlogger, vlogger. I'm like, come on! <laughs> Our family is so big. <laughs> she said, why are you looking so beautiful? Yes, this is your arrest you. I'm like, don't watch me, man. So, uh, Bukola, <laughs> Bukola said that when we went to taxi fire office yesterday. <laughs> okay, so, so Bukola said, this is too thin, it's stressful. At taxi fire office, she was because we like we woke up so early, like we left the house around five, I guess, and like we were tired as at eleven o'clock. It was like we've had twenty four hours in the day because we did make up, we were stuck in traffic and everything. Mm -hmm. So at the office, while I was having the meeting with taxi fire, because I'm hosting an event of theirs, Bukala was sleeping. So Auntie Bukala right here <laughs> was sleeping at taxi fire office. Auntie slept off while she was waiting for me because I was having a meeting with them. She now said. The security. <laughs> the security. The security came to meet her and said, "Ah, uh -uh. I see this early morning." She said, "She said she just closed her eyes and just said, I continue the sleep." <laughs> But why don't we mind our business in this country? Why? Why can't just imagine? Auntie, this early morning. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of Bukola's gist. I remember tearing it up already. Let me give you the second gist that Bukola gave me yesterday when we were going for our event. Bukola said she was. Where were you? Say, was inside the bus. bus yes. She was inside the bus. <laughs> we still don't mind our everything is about us not minding business in this country. <laughs> she was inside the bus and she was using her phone and going through something. And and <laughs> <laughs> and the man beside her said, "Auntie, mistake did that thing." <laughs> She's like, mistake, they wait it. As in, are you are you okay? How are you looking at my phone? You look at look at look at so there. You sabi say mistake, they that in. Ah, you know they mind our business for this country. I won't call my mama. <laughs> what would the price your mom pay for you, Mama? Hello, ma. How are you, Mama? No, it's me, Mama. Mama, mama is talking or is not a dad? <laughs> Mama, it's me. Can you hear me? So my own voice is not sweet. A me TV girl. Mama, the mama. Eh, mama, how far now? Mama, how far now? Mama, what? Pretty? 
prayers were you praying for me as a young girl that made me become the woman that I am today? And that God will deliver me from your hands. <laughs> Mama, it's okay that it's talking now, it's not me. <laughs> glory to glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No power of darkness will short circuit your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not miss it. Amen. You will not go contrary to the purpose of God for your life. Amen. Amen. I love you. I, love you. I won't say it again tomorrow. So I know you never again. say it. <laughs> let me repeat it and repeat it. Thank I've you. always loved you. And I will never cease loving and supporting you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you, Mama. Thank God you for coming you. on my channel. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should just call me Tommy Care or call me Tommy Care A. Hey. Tommy Care A. Hey. Tommy Care A. Hey. Tommy Care A. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Tommy Care Alayade? Tommy Care Alayade at times is that girl you see on TV. She's that girl. <laughs> Other times you find me on TV, not presenting, but acting. I act at times as well. And other times you find me modeling. I mean, if I model this hair for you, you will not even recognize me again. <laughs> other times you find me influencing for brands. See, eh? Ati, come here. Let me tell you why you need to buy this bracelet. Ati, you see this bracelet, eh? You can't find this anywhere in gold. If you don't buy it from me, Auntie, you can never find it. So buy it now. If you throw them inside water today, Auntie, nothing will happen to her. As if you go throw them like this, if you lift them out, you go, they shine more. Eh? Make it fade. God forbid. Don't be my own bracelet, they fade, Auntie. Ah, possible. Now from step to apparel. Auntie, this bracelet, eh? This bracelet, as if you wear and go do exam, you go pass the exam. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not sure, you see me here often by God's grace. I will not start and not end in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall start, God will see me through in the mighty name of Jesus. Who are to blame? The gods are not to blame. Who are to blame? You know, if you talk, <laughs> you just stand there like Statue of Liberty. Tell me <laughs> why you didn't look me like this. No. <laughs> And point it to your face. <laughs> no, God will have mercy on you because you want to make it look like my mother and father wasted money on sending me. It's not possible. <laughs> I feel like I want to sleep. Like it's been a long day. The other day I walked into a pharmacy and said I wanted to buy vitamin C. I'm hearing 2,600. Is it the same vitamin C that is inside orange that we are buying for 50 naira, 20 naira that you are calling 2,600? She said, eh, actually, this one has black currant. Did I tell you I want to buy black currant drink? No, I don't know where they are selling black currant, Abby. That's why I came to buy vitamin C with black currant. I say I don't want black currant. I want vitamin C. Now, you now see the set of people that are always shouting, societal pressure, societal pressure. You, Gogo, you are the societal pressure that we have in this country. If you are not societal pressure, tell me why you will walk majestically into my DM. Two months after marriage, and you will be telling me, Tomike, give us baby. Who is us? No, Tani, us. Is it us that we pay the school fees? Is it us that we breastfeed the baby? Is it us that we experience the Please, <laughs> yes, you are not serious. Let me finish the name. Tommy K. Alain Ode Ade Ode. Uh, Did I get it right? Oh Did God. I get it right? Yes, girl. Yes, girl. I you essential that this friend actually be... makes me feel old. Like, <laughs> like that. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about how you met, you know, Bobo? <laughs> Let people know. So that you can maybe follow in our footsteps. Oh my like, god. You can walk in that no, direction. It doesn't work that way. I went to me in lag in my second year in school. I went to the supermarket and I'm it was at the supermarket and boom. Boy it just happened. And <laughs> it actually just happened. Yeah. Like it was kind of love at first sight, or I don't know. We just had this connection at first and sight, and yeah, we just clicked that. Okay. Because okay. I realized that many young people do not want to get married because they feel that marriage will, will you know, change their life or yeah. maybe cut short their dreams or their mm -hmm. things they wouldn't be able to do again. Once they get then, married, yeah, exactly. I'm grateful that like my marriage hasn't limited me. Like okay. I think that's even given me more wings to fly mm. because I don't know. Now I can stay out late as much as I want. Yeah. <laughs> I think another, I think my another, mother doesn't call me and I say, where are you? <laughs> but I think my that's husband knows I'm working, so yeah. I know. I, th I think that's been a good part. But yeah. the only thing I realized that has really changed is I am more responsible. Mm. I mean, I know that I have like a family to cater to, but it's not... 
it's not like it pressures me to you know cook or do He's stuff but being being myself i know that i got to be useful yeah. and responsible so but i enjoy it i mean i like the sense of oh like you own your own kind of thing yeah. but yeah it's sweet actually but i'm going to be more fine um not really. be a lot more fight than not, before not really actually it's no. It's like it's busy. It's yeah. yeah. And then I wonder why people say like marriage is uh, marriage marriage is a different because ball game, you guys to be have been together for a long time. That could also be uh, it not necessarily because you because because probably spent enough time together that now you're just used to each other. Not Can necessarily be because the truth okay. is like they always say, which is why I know why people say those things. Like no matter how long you've spent with somebody, there are some yeah. things that you would still not know about the person. True. Being that, like there are some things I'm beginning to discover. Like I feel like I'm beginning to understand my husband more. Okay. Like he's a man of little words, but like at times I think I ignore some of the things that he says in the little words because he doesn't say much, and I'm, mm, I'm the outspoken one, person. Yeah, yeah but that. then I've tried to you know to read between the lines, even when he says just little to understand his feelings and everything. Yeah. yeah so. I think so can you tell me some of the things that you feel like have changed or some of the things that you're getting to know about him like since when you've got him married because I'm sure there are moments that you'll be like I thought I knew this person this much and I, you just keep learning more like what you just said like, can you tell me some of the things that have, like you've noticed like oh I'm just not seeing this about him oh um, really I think, I think it's um, to the feelings aspect like I used to feel like he doesn't have feelings or he doesn't even care, care. <laughs> so I've just come to realize that there are little things that I do that I feel like he doesn't care but definitely it he would hurt does, him yeah. but it doesn't hold on to, is that kind of, it's very mature so I think okay. I'm trying not to take it for granted the fact that he doesn't hold on to those things. I mean, while me, if you do this more, ah, why do you why do that? Do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but he will just ignore and just make excuses for, for me you. and just not get angry with me for yeah. it. So I'm beginning to understand that, oh, the fact that I'm getting away with these little things does not mean that it is not having an effect on the on other him person. As yeah, well. so. Okay, so can you um, tell me how you're able to balance work and because you're obviously very busy? So, how do you balance work and home? You guys, if you check Tomika's story, literally she's always cooking. Like she's cooking a four or spaghetti something. Me that I'm single and I have time. I'm never even. Co- I'm into cooking Indomie. I'm making toast bread. You this one, what? she's busy cooking as busy you, as she. You is. know the funny thing. I feel like maybe when you get married, you'd even do worse. Are you? Fo- yes, I don't think so. The today day my mom came to the house and she saw and you cooking, bringing out no, all the no, stuff. No, 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 no. You were not like this in the house. I used to be the one doing all this stuff. I know. And, I know. I did like. I just became responsible, like I said. Oh, like it just, it just comes on you. Like you know that the house is on you. Or yeah. like at home, like you know how our mothers have spoiled mm-hmm. us and everything. And we know that if we don't do it, my mother would do it. Do if it, I yeah. don't cook, she will cook. That kind of thing. But when you get, I feel like you do worse. And I think it's a thing of joy because you know that oh, you are feeding him food. Yeah. Every man loves food. Every woman, mm-hmm. each other, I love food. If you are feeding me, you are making me happy. So it's yeah, almost exactly. like another way to make you happy. So I really don't see it as stress. I enjoy cooking these days. Each other, I like fresh food yeah. these days. I used to find it where some people say, oh, I, I can only eat food that they made to do. But I feel like gradually yeah, I'm I becoming. Like, you tell me that. Ah, like, yeah, but now I feel like, like I always want finished. to eat something fresh that was just made today. And uh, are you serious? Yes. Like that's very shocking. <laughs> yes. Okay, so before I ask you the last question, can you tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you're working on? Because now she has a new series on in Danny. Yeah, yeah. yeah so people are blowing, you know. Okay, yeah, tag girl. What about the guy who told me Kes tag girl? Like it's supposed to be a whole line. So the Kes tag girl. If you ever call her to me again, I hear. If you're gonna call her, please call her to me. We're sorry. Tag girl, Miss Tag girl. <laughs> for now actually i'm just trying to you know go more into the business side mm. of work and okay. all that and then i'm pushing my influence in more like brands and trying to put, put in more effort into, into it yeah, yeah like using professional cameras and stuff mm. and then my youtube vlog i'm trying to take it more seriously and to be consistent and all that because there's posting. money on that on that on that yes on that For people who are about to get married, what advice can you give them as a newlywed? Because a lot of divorce is going on now. Yeah. Within three months, six months, a whole year, everybody has gone their separate way. Exactly. So what have you been doing that's been helping you? Um, I think I've been staying true to myself. I think many okay. people put marriage on their head. Yeah. Like, like I always say, like it's not that deep. It's just the marriage. Like, <laughs> you, are, you are still you. Like yeah. I don't let your happiness depend on the marriage. Like still be yourself. Don't just say, oh, uh, because I'm married this, because I'm married that. Put yourself as an individual first before you start saying for married or else you just realize that so many things will change and then you might begin to lose your happiness all because of you are married and also for people that are trying to get married please do not put so much pressure on yourself like it's not even necessary it's not that deep because this marriage you go see my 
you will yeah. still marry. And you see me there, <laughs> see me now, I'm married, my eyes are clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, married, married. Can we move on to the next thing? Life continues. So yes. don't don't let your success be dependent on the fact that you want that, to get married. Don't mm-hmm. let anybody pressure. If you marry at 30, if you marry at 40, you will still marry the man. You be needs till Jesus comes. So don't, don't yeah, kill yourself. I think that's 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 just the best thing for you to stay true to yourself mm-hmm. in your marriage. Thank exactly. you so much again for coming on. What do you think? Yes, thank you. I so have fun. Fun. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think today? See you next time. And what do you think? Oh, it's, I know, right? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. You're always you? happy. You are a burst of sunshine. Aww. You're a bubble of energy. People meet Tommy you, me and they me. just like. You. So I said to someone that if anybody meets Tomike and doesn't like Tomike, the problem is not with the person. The problem is the problem is not with Tomike. It's with the person. The person. <laughs> what gives you this drive? You know that keeps you constantly happy all the time. I really don't know to be honest. I can't even explain it. It was recently when I noticed like so many people keep asking me questions about oh why do you remain this happy and then I search within and try to find the reason and. I realize there's really no reason but the fact that I constantly remind myself that there are things that I have to be grateful for. I mean, as much as we get carried away with life and so many things we're looking for, you just realize there's always something to smile about. If it's not a video on social media, there's all, you would always find something to keep you happy, really. So I don't know. And it's easier to be happy than to be sad. But I'm definitely <laughs> sure that beyond what we see on social media, there are days that you're yeah. sad. So I know that so many kids are crying. I always cry. <laughs> Cry, you know, Tomika is happy, she cries, she's sad, she, she cries. cries. So we have an insight into the moments we don't get to see, those sad moments that we don't get oh to see. What is, what's it like? There was, <laughs> there was one that happened. It's funny how I don't even share this often, but you asked me now, so I'm just going to share. Just so that people know that really there are times that it's not always so great. This happened two days ago. I had like, I think three events back to back. And then on the final day, I had to get up so early again to go to work. Like my legs were aching because I was standing literally the entire day and everything. And as soon as I got up, it felt like I wanted to die. And then I just told my husband, please, just my leg, help me massage it. And then he massaged it. And I was like, would it be bad if I just call everybody and say, I'm not doing it again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> then no, but you know you have to go. So I just got up. And you wouldn't believe that. It, I don't know, the pains that I felt when I got up and I went to have my bath. And as soon as I entered the bathroom, I just started crying. Like, I don't even know how I felt. Like, I was, I was literally in tears. And then I was trying not to let him know that I was crying. But I was just crying like, God, I'm just so tired this morning. And then he just walked in like, what happened? <laughs> The look on his face was oh priceless. Like, did you fall down? What happened? And I was like, I'm just so tired. My body is feeling music. Pele, 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 pele. Hurry up. And then, I don't know, as soon as I took that shower, I just seen him pet me. I just felt like, yeah, now let's do this. Let's the do day this. continues. You know, so just for it has something nice to say about you. Aww. Have there been times when you've seen some negative comments? Yes. Hey. An insight. What, oh what, my what would goodness. you say like the worst thing hey. or some of the worst things you've seen and how does it make you feel? I don't know. It just makes me feel like people are mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to describe it. I mean, there was a day I went to a particular organization and I was so friendly with them, even from... I'm that kind of person that as soon as I walk in from security, I start smiling and saying hello because I don't even know what you've gone through that day. So I try to, like, bring my positive vibes into your life and just make you feel special. And I took that same energy to that organization, you know. We had some things to do and everything. And I left that organization not knowing that they had bad things to say about me. Oh, wow. And I can't find where the bad things came from. And then they were speaking to someone I knew, and they were like, oh, that Tomika girl, I don't even like her. I mean, the vibe she brought, she puts on social media, is not the vibe she brought to the office. And I'm like, which other vibe are you searching for? Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> which vibe again? <laughs> and I'm like, are you joking? I was smiling with these guys like that. I was so exhausted, but you know, I was still laughing to their gist and everything. And all they had to say was, She's different from how she is. And I'm like, oh, that queen can rock with length, we? <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, another person was telling a friend of mine, was like, ah, that told me care. You know, she shouts too much. You should tell her to keep it calm on social media because it's not good for her brand. And I'm like, my brand or your brand? The brand that has been making your money. <laughs> I know, brand right? Paying your bills. <laughs> like, when how? you get these comments, Tommy Care, where people try to tell you stuff like, oh, you're shouting too much, oh, you are too friendly, or oh, calm down, does that affect you emotionally? Does it sometimes make you feel like, you know, question yourself? Uh, to be honest, yes, because I, I try to, as much as possible, like when people criticize you, to search if there are facts 
and truths in things that they are saying because to be honest there might be element of truth in it so i just try to you know filter it and say okay is this possible am i doing something wrong but then i know who i am i know that who i am in real life is the person i am on social media like i'm i'm, I'm very very over the top and all that so i'm like okay i really can't be changing myself for people so i just pick the ones that might be for me but every other thing that i, I check myself and then i check the comments and i'm like Nah, nah, nah. But I've reached that point where it doesn't really get to me. I'm like, eh, they'll be all right. At last, the end last. of the day, they'll be all right. So. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so basically. You were not always this. I mean, you were once a Tomike Alion, then now you're Tomike at Deo hey, We will like, come to like that play. story shortly. <laughs> but you were not always this fave TV girl that everybody loved. I know. You right? had a journey, you had a process. So, how did it all begin? It all began in um, university. I attended the University of Lagos. I was studying microbiology. And then in my year two, I just realized that, you no, know, I knew since secondary school, but when I realized in secondary school, it was literally too late for me to switch to, you know, um, mass communication because I was already in science class. So I just said, okay, let me follow through till the end. And then when I got into uni, you know, everybody's always putting that pressure. You have to get into school. So I couldn't be changing courses at that dying minute. So when I began to study microbiology my second year, I went to Inlag FM, I auditioned, and then I was a volunteer till I was done with school. Like, I, was, I wasn't literally making money from them, but I was just enjoying, you know, go on air, talk to people, know that people are listening to me. And that was how the radio journey began for me. And then from there, I got referrals from the radio station for some TV jobs as well. And then that was how TV started. And then from there, I picked up social media. Like, I feel like there's always a story to share. And that's when I began to make good use of my social media. And I'm like, oh, people are enjoying these things. Like, when people see you and feel like, oh, they are connected to you, obviously, it's not everything I put out there. Like, the day I woke up and I was crying, you did not Nobody see that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so content. you literally just filter your content and everything. And I'm like, ah, ah there's money in this thing, too. And, you know, <laughs> the influencing started because, you know, you have to dress up and go to work. You know our life now. Exactly. Dress up, do makeup, hair, or flick, everything, and take pictures. And then I I realized, oh, brands were coming, oh, eh, I want you to wear my clothes. I want you to be like, oh, yeah, big money. I wear your clothes, don't worry. You don't have to pay a model. And I realized it was another source of income as well. So literally, that's, that's the summary of how the journey began. And along the way, I featured in Jennifer's Diary when I was in school because I went for the audition and then acting. I'm like, I go back, no. Just so join you, it. Are, you are a multifaceted <laughs> person. Kind and of. You know, you, you, you're a radio, TV actor, influencer but i still want to talk about your tv journey i know that you currently host the wwnw show on ebony live tv mm -hmm. and you're also a host for vvip events mm -hmm. how did you get into that tv space that ebony live space like your audition can you relieve the memories now okay. this is because there are many people who want to one day audition for a tv show or mm -hmm. you know and they want to become tv presenters like you but they are wondering how did she do it how would yeah. i get my own shot and the day that they get their shot they need to be ready. Were exactly. you ready the day you got your opportunity? Um, to be honest, I was very ready. And I think I was overly ready. And that even affected me to some point. Yes, you always have to be ready. As much as I tell people like, oh, okay, you're trying to go into TV and everything. What are you doing in the little space that you have? I mean, you can literally hold your phone and do anything. Like, you can create an imaginary show and present literally to train yourself for when the opportunity comes. But thankfully, I was doing radio already. My friend in the UK sent me the audition for Ebony Life TV for the competition. And then, you know, I auditioned for it. And <clears throat> I got there and they were saying I was too mature. And ah. they needed... Because <laughs> I was already on TV. And presenting shows for adults and all that. And then they wanted like young stars, like 16 and everything. And I went for the competition the week before my final year exam. So it was literally tough. But thankfully, my family members and everyone was so supportive. Because everyone was like, do you have sense at all? Go and finish your microbiology before you start going for competitions. But thankfully, I was able to couple both of them together. And the last week, the last day of the show, you know, they, they were to send three people. We were six left. They were to send three people home and retain three and they were already like, oh, Tomike, you are too mature, blah, blah, blah. And then, thankfully, they did not send me home. <laughs> <laughs> like, there were many three of us that were not on the couch, like the personalities that they wanted. They created segments to suit our personalities. Oh, and so they created like a celebrity tracker segment. Like, okay, since you are mature, you can handle celebrities on the red carpet. They gave me that segment, oh. and that was how it happened. And from there, I began hosting VVIP events as well, and then the WWE and W shows. So literally, TV has been... Now, okay. if you have to choose of all the various things that you do, you're a TV presenter and on-air personality on radio, you're a, an actor, you're a brand influencer. If we had to make you to choose just one, which would be the, the, one, the first one that will come to your mind without thinking? Ah, brand influencer. Ah. <laughs> totally can. Oh my, that life is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is sweet about being a brand influencer? The fact that you get to create content that suits your personality. Like you literally don't have to go out of your comfort zone because you realize these people are coming to you because of your personality. 
basically. And so it's just like infusing their brands into your personality. And I really, really enjoy it. And the pay is, is Okay, good. so now let's talk about <laughs> the fundamentals of being a brand influencer mm -hmm. because it's some sort of extra income that lots of young people are varying into. What would you say to someone who's wanted to be a brand influencer but they don't know how to go about it because they probably have like 300 Instagram followers and they're looking to build their followership. Your followership increased right before my eyes. It was like... <laughs> Wildfire, one minute, I was more than your follower. And all of a sudden, like, where is this girl going to? What, what's, what's going on? Oh, like, my goodness. You know, so your followers have increased like wildfire. And we've seen your growth, and it's so beautiful to watch. Oh, thank but what you. would you say to some other young girl who's who has little followers? She has maybe 300, 400, 500, or a young man, but wants to go into brand influencing what would you what would be some of the tips that you would give to them first things first you shouldn't be too desperate i mean many of us that are into this influencing thing which you are as well you'd realize it's something that actually came along the way we didn't you know venture into social media with the mindset of being an influencer you know i was just taking pictures posting good pictures making videos for people like going all out i'm a kind of person that if you send me an item i just really want the world to know how good it is if it's a very good item not because you are paying me for it but because i just want to share i mean you know how what i said about me wanting people to see like an inside of what goes on in my life i just feel oh if your thing is good everybody should know about it they should patronize you and that was something that i already did on a norm and then when i realized oh there was money to this thing i added it on board so really you shouldn't go into it being so desperate for the money it should be something that comes naturally basically and as much as yes you want to have followers and all that build yourself build your brand build your social media page if you go into it for the money trust me you might not last long in it because it's not every time that is all rosy and sweet so once another person comes like this they can almost forget you and you know I mean, you have to stay relevant exactly short. so you have to stay very <laughs> relevant so start from now in your only two space take pictures good pictures by the way you don't have to own like the biggest phone or the most expensive phone to you know build your page and your brand let's talk about brand influencing when what you consider quality is in conflict with what the client brings so somebody brings you an outfit you know the outfit quality isn't great but they are paying you mm. to promote I, it to be honest i don't i don't do it i mean because at the end of the day it rubs off on my brand if someone goes there and purchases it they'll be like oh tomika recommended you but look at the rubbish you made it's literally tainting my image to some extent it's tainting my image and i've come to realize that many people just want to push things on you because they know they're going to get followers or they're going to get people to buy their brand i still sent an email two days ago or three days ago the lady sent me items and she had even paid before because like the invoice always has my account details and she had paid before we spoke about the item and all that and she was she sent me pictures of the clothes and i'm like oh are there more options i really don't like this item it doesn't suit my brand and she's like okay no problem we can speak about it or maybe I create one that suits your personality and I feel like it's not it's not so hard if it's too hard and she's not getting it I will send her money back like it's not that deep really like that's why I said you shouldn't be too desperate because if you're so desperate you end up really taking that clothes and some people will be like ah, ah so you can't even wear this type of clothes uh, it will really affect yes, your brand so really I don't do sense. things for the money even especially brands that I don't like at times I run away from that email please forgive me I'm not <laughs> I mean, there's some people that will not just reply because I don't, even, I, I don't want to spoil, like, I don't want to ruin your mood and say no. Do you understand? So there are some emails that I actually run from because I don't like those brands. And I feel like many people need to work more on their brand before you start going about, oh, I want to, you know, publicize or I want to use an influencer. Work on your brand. Ensure that it's the best quality. So really, I don't mind saying no. It's not always about the money. It's about my brand at the end of the day. Fantastic. She doesn't mind saying no. And you shouldn't mind saying no to no. You know, I saw a quote someone that said no is a complete sentence. And I love it. Loved it. Like you don't have to explain why. No, no, no explanation. No, no, no. It's, it's a no. <laughs> so, Mickey, let's talk about you as an actor. What would you say that being on Jennifer's Diary did to your brand? Uh, I mean, you predicted your wedding in Jennifer's Diary. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it was the other movie on Mendebo. Okay. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how it happened. And you know, people were sending me the video before my wedding, and after the wedding, they sent me the videos. And I still look at you saying you want your wedding to be all over the place. It was actually and then all your over. Wedding was all over the place. <laughs> yes, it was actually. Acting is something that is interesting for me, but it's so time consuming. You know how you can be on set from morning to night. I'm and still not shoot. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's it's crazy. It's not easy. That's why you don't see me on so many um, movies and so many movies and so many series because it's really time consuming. But then I wouldn't mind. It's not bad. So uh, being on Jennifer's Diary, what did it do to your, your brand? To be honest, it's it's really helped me. 
I won't lie. I mean, so many people saw me in a whole different light. And you know, everyone loves Jennifer's Diary. Like, you, the fan base is crazy. So even when I was in school back then, you know, you'd be walking, ah, ah, Tanya, is that not you? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, one thing I realize now is that so many people don't even know I was that girl in Jennifer's Diary. Because, you know, I've talked to a fine girl, make up for a flea oh, girl, <laughs> No, that dance. time, Olive, you know how it is in school now. By the end of the how... day, you have evolved. <laughs> exactly. And I... you have evolved from one stage to another. Yes, you know, I, I mean, you have a rock on your finger. Auntie. And you're no more Tommy Care Adonia like I knew you or like I met you. You're now Tommy. No, you're no more Tommy Care Adonia. I lie on I feel like Cleo. You don't day. carry your sister and go. I like, know. Play like... <laughs> so, first of all, how would you say that being married has, you know, how has it changed your life? Have, have there been any changes? I think I'm more responsible. I mean, <laughs> so like, you were a really responsible child before. I'm sure my mom will be looking at me like, it's just, she said it, the last time she came to the house, she was like, ah, so you can't cook like this. And in the house, you, you will not even be useful for me, but you can be useful <laughs> like this. <laughs> I think I am more responsible. You know, I feel like, oh, my husband is my responsibility. Like, if I'm at home before him, he should come back and meet food at home. Like, I just have that sense of responsibility. Like, I have somebody to take care of. That's the only thing that I feel has changed about me. I think I am more responsible. Like, I know that, oh, you have to do, you have to do that. There's nobody that's going to do it for you and all that. So, instead of being the sports child that I used to be, I'm more responsible. I cook now. <laughs> but you weren't cooking before you got married. I wasn't really cooking because you know how this our job is now. And now, I realized that. So, I could have been cooking then. Because even still, I'm very busy, but I still find time to cook. And you cook. seem to really enjoy it. I do. Every time on Insta Story, you're giving us cooking classes. I mean, the last one was you taught us how to make ogbono, ogbono soup. So. I actually enjoy it. You know, the thing I like about it is just seeing the appreciation on his face every time I, every time I feed him. I don't know. That, that gives me so much joy. I mean, that encourages me to cook. You know, just him saying, oh, I will wait till I get home to Aww. eat. It's just like, ah, you got to cook, girl. You got to cook, girl. It's just like me showing myself to him. I don't know. It's just fun. Married life is... Is beautiful. And I realize in this um, day and age, many people carry marriages on their head. And I just think marriage should be whatever you want it to be. You shouldn't let anybody's marriage define you. Same as my wedding day. I mean, many people were saying, ah, you were so different. You were all over the place. You were this, you were that. I'm like, it's my day. Like, as much as you want to be, oh, I'm the bride. It's not that deep the at the end of the day. you at any point, you know, because I know during your wedding, you did Instagram live on your yes. traditional wedding day. And that's because you have a community of followers that were telling you, Tommy, some of us are abroad and we want to keep yes. uh, you know, abreast of what's going on at your wedding. Did you get people criticizing yes. you? Yes. I still had a friend call me two weeks ago saying, oh, another friend of ours was saying, ah, that your Tommy care friend, how would she even hold her phone on her wedding day? How would she go live? And I'm like, yo, is it your wedding? Mm, was it Was it you that got married? Girl. Was my husband complaining? Like, <laughs> it's not that <laughs> deep. And even in terms of marriage, I realize many young people are scared to get married because if you, their life is going to change. If you're in it with the right person, trust me, it's just going to be the normal life that you have. So please don't be scared and don't carry marriage on your head. I think wives also have a... Um, place to play in this role I have a role to play in this part yes. because you know now when you're married you're not be like eh, i'm sorry i can't come out my husband said this my husband said it's not that deep now marriage you marry you know exactly so oh. really life is still the same Fantastic, Tommy Care. It's been an absolute delight speaking with you and just going, seeing all that happens behind it. But before well. I let you go, Tommy Care, last year you were nominated for the Future Awards TV presenter. Which you collected and you are here to talk, <laughs> remind me. Really? No, I am Who does that? Tommy Care. Wow. <laughs> just have mercy on me. You are my okay, set okay. today. You are doing your when job. When I come to your you set, you your cannot job. finish me. You are doing you your job. My set. Okay, no problem. Exactly. So, you know, you, you have. I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Tommy K, how did getting nominated make you feel? It made me feel... It was feel... your first nomination. You should be yes. saying loyal to your elders. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mommy. I was nominated before. It was my second nomination. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> you can have it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, but it felt it so good, me? really. I felt really excited. I didn't see it coming because, really, I know that you, my seniors, you are plenty in that, in that market. Seniors. So, <laughs> it was really good. I mean, I had so many people congratulating me, and I'm like, ah, really, you're bad, though. <laughs> and you have so much love on social media. Your followers, you call them your family. It's like a little cult, people who are dedicated to you. And I want to give you this opportunity to say something say to your followers how they make you feel because Aww. i see the love that you get and i think is absolutely mind-blowing so i'd like to give you this opportunity to give a shout out to your followers see now you have made my eyes she wet. Has crying. I, I'm not 
<laughs> My goodness, just talking about them just makes me so emotional. Ah, I'm not cry cranky. No, cry. No, <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I love you guys so much. Like you guys make it worth what the stress, what the pain, what everything. Like my social, like you guys are family. Like you go all out for me. You take time to comment. It's not every time you see a picture that you want to type under. But you know, you guys still type. You send me DMs. As much as I don't even have time to reply to those DMs, you will still keep sending and sending and sending. And you know, even sharing testimonies, sharing so many things. It really makes me feel special. And I feel like you're a huge part of my life. Like without you, I would not have over 100,000 followers. So you guys make me what I am today. And I'm just so happy that you remain glued to my page. And I love you so much. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> and I just want to give a special shout out to you. Oh, oh. before I let you go, your husband. No, you have to give a shout out to your husband. Ah, my boo! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for marrying me. <laughs> thank you for making me your wife. I love you so much. Thank you for always encouraging me. Thank you for always spoiling me. I'm not going to cry. I love you. Okay. I'll see you at home soon. There's too much onions <laughs> being caught in my studio, like we like to say here in Nigeria, because it's getting really emotional. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of speaking with Tomike Alanya, the TV personality, brand influencer, actor, and MC. We touched on almost everything, yes, except how? the MC in Because <laughs> there's just too much I know, to right? talk to about you, you know, to talk about you. But thank you. it is an amazing, you know, it's been an amazing conversation. Thank you so much for gracing my thank set. You. And I wish you all the best. Your future is so Amen. bright and beautiful. Amen. I, I receive it. See all, all that you know lies ahead of you. Thank Please you. follow Tommy Care on Instagram at Tommy Care underscore A. Show Thank her some you. love. Follow her, she'll make you fishers of men. Ah! <laughs>